What makes a legend? Legends are often defined by their outstanding character, incredible achievements, or in some cases, they simply lived to tell the tale. Our South Dakota legends defy definition, as do their stories. At the South Dakota Hall of Fame, you come face to face with the stories of great people from a great place, South Dakota. Over 600 Hall of Fame inductees have changed the landscape of our state artistically, politically, and socially. They represent not only some of the finest in our state, but some of the most fascinating in the world. They are explorers, mavericks, innovators, and outlaws. South Dakota is no country for the timid. They made defiant stands. They carved into mountains. They navigated the wilderness and came back to tell about it. Fear was a luxury they could not afford. Casey Tibbs, Laura Ingalls Wilder, Oscar Howe, and Andre Larson. These are our featured legends at the South Dakota Hall of Fame this year. A world-renowned rodeo champion, a beloved writer, a Dakota painter, and a musician composer. Our people are as majestic as our landscape. So visit the Casey Tibbs Rodeo Center and learn about calf roping and bronc riding. Head down to Vermilion to see the National Music Museum, where over 15,000 instruments are preserved and on display. Drop by the Ingalls Homestead and visit the original Little House on the Prairie. Take a covered wagon ride and experience the wind whispering through the prairie. Stop in Mitchell and visit the Dakota Discovery Museum to gaze upon the beauty of Oscar Howe's original paintings. And don't forget to come and visit us at South Dakota Hall of Fame on the banks of the Great Missouri River in Chamberlain, where we will introduce you to our legends. South Dakota is the land of infinite variety. We are known as the Rushmore State, the Badlands, the Wild West, the land of dancing wolves, and a crazy horse. We are known by many names, but there is one common thread. Our state has been the home of some of the most fascinating people in our nation's history, and they have amazing stories to share. The people of our state are as diverse as the landscape. It is people who are remembered and recognized by the South Dakota Hall of Fame. Individuals from all walks of life who have contributed to our progress, forged our way of life, and shaped our values. The South Dakota Hall of Fame honors those who built our great state and those individuals who continue to contribute to our future. With pride, we honor their accomplishments, so all people will know and understand that our rich and fascinating heritage is a product of people. The Hall of Fame is the only resource in our state dedicated exclusively to the preservation and extension of our state's history. So get off the beaten path. Come and visit our beautiful Hall of Fame on the banks of the Great Missouri River in Chamberlain, South Dakota. Walk through our unique exhibits or log on to our website at sdhalloffame.com for biographies, pictures, and amazing Western stories. Come and see us at the South Dakota Hall of Fame, and we will introduce you to a legend. In 1949, at the age of 19, Casey Tibbs became the youngest man ever to win the National Saddle Bronc Riding Crown. In his long career, he won a total of six Pro Rodeo Championships, a record still unchallenged today. To hear more about Casey, get off the beaten path and make Casey Tibbs Rodeo Center in Fort Pier a new destination on your trip this summer. Visit the Casey Tibbs Rodeo Center and learn about calf roping and bronc riding. Bring the kids for hands-on rodeo fun. Come to the Rodeo Center and we'll introduce you to a legend. Beloved author Laura Ingalls Wilder was a true pioneer. She and her family homesteaded in Dakota Territory, and it was here that she wrote her world-famous books about life on the prairie. To hear more about Laura Ingalls Wilder and her stories, get off the beaten path and make the Ingalls Homestead in DeSmet a new destination on your trip this summer. Drop by the Ingalls Homestead and walk through the original Little House on the Prairie and take a covered wagon ride. Or plan your trip to take in the annual summer pageant. Visit DeSmet and we'll introduce you to a legend. The legendary painter Oscar Howe developed a signature style of painting that is reflective of his native Dakota heritage. His lifelong love of our land, our people, and our way of life has earned him the distinction as an internationally recognized master painter. Dakota Discovery Museum's Oscar Howe Gallery is dedicated to the artist and features a major collection of his original paintings. Visit Dakota Discovery Museum and we'll introduce you to a legend. 
The National Music Museum is a major international resource for the study, exhibition, and conservation of historical musical instruments. There is no other like it in the world. We could say the same of the museum's first director, Andre Larson. Andre studied the techniques used to exhibit musical instruments in museums throughout the world, and with this exhaustive research, created a preeminent South Dakota institution. Head down to Vermilion to see the National Music Museum, where over 15,000 instruments are preserved and on display. Come to our museum, and we will introduce you to a legend.